Thou Part Two of As the World Turns. So, I hear that Julie had a healthy baby boy. Yes, she did. It's fantastic. Ivan and I delivered it. I hear. Yeah, that's great. It's good for Julie that you and I have over there. Exactly. Um, I've been thinking a lot about the phone conversation we had. Do you think we could talk about it? Do you want to? Okay. You didn't have to go to Franny about that. Well, I just didn't feel like I could help you anymore. Help. And I, I... Help me? Julie is the one that needs the help. Andy, when I met you in Chicago, you were in drunken stupor. It was because of Julie. I haven't had a drink in a year and two months. That's ancient history. I know. I know. And it's great. It's... Well, other things can start to take over, you know? What? Like what? Well, I was talking to Franny, and she was telling me how people with addictive personalities sometimes, well, they switch to other addictions. Yeah, like, uh, like uh, television and bubble gum, right? Stop it, Andy. <laughs> the baby! I'm talking about the baby. You're obsessed with Julie and the Look, baby. I don't need any of your Freudian garbage about my addictions. Okay? Franny is a trained psychologist. She knows what she's talking about. Okay? Okay, Andy, why does it always have to be your help, huh? I mean, whatever happened to the father of the baby? The supposed father of the baby? He doesn't Where's know, he? but... Why doesn't he know about the baby? Why doesn't she tell him, huh? It is his, isn't it? Where, where's, where's this leading? This is leading... Julie could be lying to you. I mean, she's a good liar. She lied to you when you were living with her about... about... Tony. That's because she didn't want to hurt me. You'll forgive her anything, won't you? I mean, she lies, she sleeps around, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I tell Franny a little something about you because I'm worried about you and you blow up at me. Why is that, Andy? Because I thought I could depend on you, but obviously I cannot. Oh, okay, so it's my fault now. I mean, you lied. <laughs> You lied to your friends and your family, and it's my fault, and I'm undependable. No, look what Julie's doing to you. Julie needs my help. You can't accept that? Then maybe... No. I'm gonna finish that for you. Here, maybe you should take these back. why I brought you here for the first leg of our honeymoon surprise. Yeah, so what's the second part of our surprise? Let's just enjoy the first part. Ah! Oh, yeah. No, come on, Kirk. What? Oh! Tell me, please. No, please. no, just no. Now, that won't work. My lips are sealed. Please? No. Oh. Well, don't stop. Oh. I didn't tell you my plans because I wanted it all to be a surprise. And I didn't want to put you in the awkward position of having to work with Lily and having to keep this from her. Ellie? Ellie, come on, I know you're in there. I saw your car outside. Ellie, I'm not taking the neighbors. Don't you have any respect for the neighbors, Kirk? Baby, this is killing me. You gotta give me a chance to let me tell you how much I love you and how much I miss you. That's why Caleb agreed to such a quick divorce. She wrote him a letter saying she was carrying this other guy's baby, some guy named Gillette, running the modeling agency in New York. So I thought I'd contact this fellow and see if Julie needs anything, money or anything, you know. Gillette ought to be pretty easy to trace, right, Margot? Yeah, well, why don't you let me talk to Andy first, because he's probably talked to Julie, and then I'll let you know, okay? Okay, well, that sounds good. Uh, what do you say we collect our brood and 
Head on out of here? No. Dad, you know, for a tough, wild cat oil man, you sure have a, a heart for the underdog. First Lucinda, now Julie. Yeah, I guess I do kind of collect strays. <laughs> well, I bet Lucinda would love to have her described as a stray. Oh, boy. I tell you, you've got to watch your back in business every minute these days. Cal, if someone took over Strico Oil, what would you do? Well, I'd probably rant and rave for a while, and then I'd get my troops together and fight back. But, you know, knowing that my family and friends were behind me would be a big help. There was a time, Lila, when I thought material success was absolutely the be-all and end-all. Now I know it isn't worth a hill of beans if you don't have somebody to share it with. Some people never learn that. Fred Kirk Anderson might be one of them. I would hate to be in his shoes right now. Beautiful. Don't see why you had to change. Think about it. I have. You want to talk? Mm-hmm. First of all, I just want to tell you how really, really sorry I am that this has all happened. If I knew you were going to take it this way, I never would have kept anything from you. Doesn't do us much good now, does it, Kirk or Lucinda? When did you become such a fan of Lucinda's all of a sudden? She was the one who stole Walsh from Conrad Evans' dad. I'm just helping him get back what was rightfully theirs in the first place. Oh, whoa. Let's hear it for Robin Hood. Did it once occur to you what might be going through my mind when you, when you and Connor were huddled up in the corners together? What? That maybe the two of you were having an affair? Oh. Is that what this is all about, Ellie? I mean, you've got to know. Ellie, you've got to know there is no other woman for me. Never will be. I love you. Love, you know. You seem to be using that word a lot these days. Maybe you should sit down and think about it and analyze it and figure out what it really means. I know us. what it really means. What I feel for you is what it really means. No, what it really means is sharing your life with someone and not lying to them and being dishonest. Really, can't you think about the good things? Our life on the yacht? The first time you walked into Ellie's and saw your name on the menu? I mean, our, our, our crazy wedding, yes, great honeymoon? Yes, I think about all of those good things. But I think about the other things, too. Like all the mysterious phone calls and the package that got delivered to Zurich from Dick Weston and you told me it was about your kids and the trust fund. You dragged Holden and Lily into this. You tricked Lily into giving you her proxy card. Lucinda cock. would have done the same thing in a minute. Oh, don't compare yourself to Lucinda. That does not validate your case. I didn't realize I was on trial here. Ellie, look, we gotta fix this. Yeah, how are we gonna fix this? How are we gonna fix all the hurt that I have inside of me and the, the pit in my stomach? How, Kirk? All right. You want proof of my love for you? I'll tell you what I do. I will call the stockholders. I will tell them all that this has been a big mistake. Ousting Lucinda was a mistake. And I will tell them that I think we should reinstate her. If that's what it's going to take to win back your love and your trust, that's what I'm prepared to do. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs>